Hello and welcome back to more of FF12 Zodiac Age Exploration-y Nonsense. Today we're going to be doing the Subterra of Pharos. The only requirement to access this is that you have completed the story mode of the Pharos Tower, which is going up. Fantastic journey up there. However, even though the enemies down here are in the approximate range of probably, I think it's 55 to 60, uh, something along those lines, I would recommend not being down there at those levels. It may be 65, I'm not sure. Uh, I'd recommend not being down there at those levels for reasons you will see shortly. Uh, those enemies, the instant you enter the zone, will horrifically maul you forever. They will never stop mauling you. So, be prepared for that, I suppose. You will witness the insanity when we actually get down there, but first we're going to get all our buffs applied. I recommend letting your buffs wear off and then reapplying your buffs before heading down. That way you're not uh, applying any buffs when you're down there. Now I have already been to the Penumbra, so you won't get the intro cutscene. I haven't done anything down here. I started to record it, but then I remembered, by God, I shouldn't be here until I'm a much higher level. So, bear that in mind, it's not really much of a cutscene. It just swirls the camera around and says, Penumbra. That's basically it. Uh, we are level 70-something, low 70s. Um, you don't have to be quite this high, but this is just the level that we happen to be, so. This area, as you can see, does have an actual map. However, it does not have the mini-map function down here. Not that that matters too much. Uh, if you hang around here, a swarm of enemies will slowly make their way to you. They are all weak to holy magic, I believe which means we're going to destroy them. Oh, apparently the horses are weak to fire. That's a thing to keep in mind, I suppose. Uh, these enemies, there's a lot of them. They will continue coming towards you. If you are the level appropriate for this area, they will maul you because you simply cannot do enough damage to kill this many of these enemies uh, before they start to overwhelm you. It's also random how many enemies are down here, to some degree. Uh, it's also random how many enemies will actually make their way to your party, to some degree. But still, it's pretty dangerous. Now the way the Subterra works, we're actually going to stop fighting here because there's no reason to, I'm pretty sure. The way the Subterra works is that you must collect uh, black orbs. If you collected... excuse me open the door. If you collected an excess of black orbs in the first floor before coming down here, you can't actually utilize those to progress through the floors. Uh, it's also impossible to see. That's not a recording error. This is just how this area works. However, if you did not, you will have to kill enemies in the outer rooms of this area. For instance, this dragon lich living in the corner here, who has shell and haste. Um, and they will drop a little black orb. I don't know if they always drop it. However, if you are on this floor or any lower floors in the Subterra, do not pick up the orbs. They will float off in a direction. That one floated off that way. And they will multiply by three. So if you do not pick up the orbs, you can then follow where they wandered off to and then get three instead of one. They will all wander off to one area, so you can sort of use that. You're a rather large fellow. It's a high reaver. We shouldn't have too much trouble down here. We are over leveled, so. But again, they will all wander off to the same direction, so they're going that way. There's a uh, necro over there. Uh, he makes a return. Never mind, he's dead. Never mind, he's teleporting, not dead. It's a necro thing. So we can utilize the knowledge of where they're going to figure out where we need to be to pick up our stuff later. So probably in the opposite corner over there, it looks like. Possibly the uh, close corner, not sure entirely. None of this area has a proper map, so just be prepared if you're down here to be horrifically lost and confused basically all the time. However, having said that, the side areas are not very expansive, so... You don't need to worry too much about getting lost in the side areas. These uh, central areas, none of the enemies will ever drop black orbs. So try to fight as little as possible within the central area. 
if it can be helped. I'm pretty sure there's loot down here actually, but I don't know off of the top of my head where it is. And I don't have a map available for this area on hand. Should probably get one. So far, there appears to be a whole lot of nothing. Which I guess is okay. The, pro the loot is probably in the lower areas. We will have to bear that in mind. Hello, my reaver based friends. Excuse me. Please don't maul my friends. I like my friends being alive. Thank you. Again, this is why you don't want to be here level appropriate. Uh, because it results in things such as this, where you're basically kind of screwed by just overwhelming amounts of damage from these enemies because they have disable and it's rather annoying and now I'm confused, where am I going? Hello. I have no idea where Ash thought she was going there. We're all going that way, so it's definitely the opposite corner over there. Still no treasure so far. I really wish you could see down here in the penumbra, but this is basically how it's going to be for the entire time. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it, so, you know. My apologies and such, but there's literally nothing that can be done for it. Now, the number of black orbs that you need to traverse through the subterra increases the further down you go. You can, however, collect all of the oh, swarm trap. You can, however, collect a bunch of black orbs like on the first few floors, so you don't need to worry about doing it on the later floors. That is a thing to bear in mind. I should probably get a map, actually, just so I know uh, which areas I can skip if we end up skipping anything. So give me one moment while I fetch a map. All right, I've checked the maps. Uh, the only thing of real note is uh, Wither and an, an a, uh, ultimate weapon. I guess actually, is it a weapon? I don't know. Uh, but that'll have a separate video because it's one of those things that has a horrific chance to spawn and a horrific chance to give you the item in question, so that'll be a separate video to do. Um, apart from that, it's really it, actually. There's also Wither, uh, has a small chance to spawn as well. There are also hidden walls in this godforsaken place. So, But there is a way to light these side areas. I actually had forgotten, but there is a way to light the side areas. It requires the uh, black orbs and stuff, so... I don't remember if we need to put the black orbs in all of the lit and all the side areas to light them to traverse to the next level or what we'll have to check uh, there is also an optional boss here and i use optional a bit loosely oh there it is i don't believe it will always spawn in this area i think there's several areas that have a chance of spawning it uh, but this is phoenix it is required if you're going to do all of the hunts which we are so there it is uh, because we're over leveled, this is going to be an easy fight. However, it is a flying enemy, so. Have to bear that in mind. But it is also an enemy that is weak to Exir berries, which we happen to have another one of. So we can throw those at it, which will reduce its health, among other things, and make it basically a joke to fight. Uh, we can also use flare and stuff on it as a means of attacking it, because otherwise Ash can do literally nothing. But this is going to be an easy fight, especially over the Exir Berries. There's literally nothing to the fight, because Phoenix will do nothing once you've used the berries, and it has very little health once you've used the berries. I, re I would recommend having someone with some sort of ranged or pull arm capability in your party, or just burn it with magic. That works too. This is also a suitable approach to this fight, which is what we're basically doing. How much damage does Flare do, actually? 
9k, pretty good, especially considering she's not actually using a staff, which would increase her damage. I think you can also afflict it with sap. Uh, I believe it's crit health that gets CT0, basically like everything else in the game. It also apparently has return damage, or mirror damage or whatever it's called, I don't know. There'll be more info in the description about this particular boss, especially if you end up doing it at level appropriate, where uh, it might prove difficult, but it's fa it's basically the same fight as uh, the Tomb of Wraithwall fight, especially if you have Exeer Berries, which you should. Unless you threw the berries at uh, one of the other Garuda-type enemies for no apparent reason, because all of the other Garuda-type enemies are normal mobs, I'm fairly sure. But anyway, there you go. Killed it. We've done it. So the reason you have to kill that is because unless you kill that, the game will not let you to the lowest level of the Subterra. I thought there was another way out of this room. There we go. Can't look at maps very well, apparently. Um, it won't let you to the lowest level of the Subterra, which means you can't... Uh... Well... Ah, it is a magic pot! Can't control Fran. Magic part is shocked and dismayed. Could you not, though? Now, I don't actually remember what we do with these magic pots. Apparently, we've pissed it off, so. Probably die at this point, because magic pots hurt quite a lot, and we should have never done that. What I can do. Is well, actually, she can't equip that and a weapon, and she she can use a diamond sword. Or just have her unarmed. There you go. She is our tank. I don't think we can actually hurt this thing because its defense values are absurd. In fact, do we have anything that can actually hurt this thing? I don't believe we can. Pretty sure quickenings do zero damage to it. I believe it's immune to all status ailments. Yeah, it's immune to everything. I think you're supposed to. Uh... Is there a fool's facade over here somewhere? Is it treasure? I believe you're supposed to give it an elixir or something. Uh, Indigo Pendant. That's one of the ones that has a low spawn chance, actually. But I don't want to give it an elixir, and I let Ash attack it, so now it's just pissed off forever, I guess. The Gandarmi that I equipped, by the way, is one of the secret, amazing hidden items from the game. You probably aren't going to have that at this point, so just bear that in mind that it's probably just going to maul you because you don't have that shield to negate everything it does. But regardless, we still need to find our uh, black orbs, which are somewhere. There they are. Found them. So this is the giant black orb that they all coalesce into here. That stuff over there. Now we can collect it, and we will get some number of them. We got 57. Obviously, we haven't killed 57 enemies. That would be absurd. Let's go ahead and fight this stuff here. Eventually kill it. There we go. What are these things weak to? Probably Earth. I'm disabled, so I can't tell. Water. Curious. There's no really good water spell in the game, unfortunately, but... So now we have some black orbs, we can actually go. Whenever we're done murdering that thing. Interact with the pedestal of night. The darkness of this hall dispel, in proper measure, light once more they bring, in overabundance for naught are they spent. So a certain quantity of these will be need 
needed to be set within these pedestals. So, let me reference my maps here, so I actually remember how many to set here. This is the northwest one, it requires nine. You could put ten in, and it would still work, I'm fairly sure, but you will then have spent one too many. It's not really a big deal to spend one too many, because you get three for every enemy you kill. I don't know why it's having such a delay every time we put one in, but there we go. So we have put nine in. I believe that is the correct number. Oh no, this one needs 18. Whoops. I also need to sneeze. You know that feeling when you need to sneeze, but it just won't happen? There we go. I've sneezed. Anyway. I uh, read the wrong one. This one is in fact 18, so I'm just an idiot. So we get to do this the slowpoke way. Oh. There we go. The pedestal appears full. We will do nothing, obviously, because this place is now done. It is lit. It is pure. That is more easily uh, explorable such. I legitimately don't actually remember um, if I need to light all four pedestals on every floor or if there's something else I need to put these into to traverse to the next floor. I just can't remember. Again, we don't want to be fighting here, so we're just going to move on. We do want to be fighting here, though. So this is southeast, I think. So southeast only needs three. Curiously. I'm fairly sure the quantity it requires is uh, dependent also on how big the area is. The two southern areas for this floor are very small, so... Not going to need a whole lot from them. Hello. Anyone home? Ah, there's a dragon lich again. I feel like I've seen you before. Most of the treasure here that spawns frequently is going to be garbage, so just so you're aware of that. Uh, the, tr the only treasure worth anything has a very low spawn chance. It includes Ring of Renewal, Wither, um, some other stuff that I can't quite remember, but mostly Wither and the uh, Trago Tower, or whatever the hell that item is called in this version, I don't remember. I think it's Trago Tower. I don't know. Uh, but that'll be a separate video because it's probably going to be RNG manipulation, if anything, um, because that's just how I'm going to get those items. Mostly how I'm going to get those items. Otherwise, it's just going to be running in and out of this area, hoping it spawns, and then hoping it gives me the correct item. I'd rather not deal with. Anyway, this side requires six. Set five, set one, call it a day. Do nothing. Hopefully we can kill a lot more enemies and gather some orbs before we head to the next floor because I don't really want to traverse the next floor for very long. Wait, we got one gill again. Wowee. Y'all are casting quite a lot of buffs on yourselves. Hello. We've already been here. We just never filled in the thing, so... We already know what spawns in this place. We do have to be careful with Ash getting confused, because she does do a lot of physical damage. Hey, we got the Ring of Renewal. That thing, I think, has a 20% chance of spawning. So we're actually very lucky that it did spawn. So we'll head over to the northwest one, which is the one I was reading earlier and mistaken. Northwest is the one that requires nine. This is a bull Abaddon, by the way. It's a normal enemy here. It's just a rather tanky one. Yes, yes, yes. There's also a chance that Ixion will spawn down here. I think you may need the... Uh, hunt side quest going, which I haven't started. 
I don't think I've even mentioned the hunt side quest, actually. Please let me through the door. There we go. It's one of the biggest problems getting around this area is just the fact that the doors are unresponsive if you're doing literally anything. Let's go ahead and set five plus four in here. It's so quick to set five, but if you set one, it takes it like literally a century to actually set it in there. There we go. I don't know why it does that, but... So there we go, this area is now done. All four zones have had their orbs placed. We're gonna kill some stuff and pick up the orbs before we try and head down anyway, so... Oh, they're right there. Are they all going that way? They must all be going that way. That's quite convenient, actually. There are, uh, I think, four locations on every floor that those may end up in. I guess it changes every time you pick it up, but uh, as long as you leave it alone, I don't think it'll change where those orbs are going. I thought initially you had the zone transition for it to change, but apparently not. Just interacting with it also works. So yeah, they're all going that way. So this way. Excuse me, camera. It's this way. There we go. So we'll pick these up. Grab that treasure that I apparently didn't notice. One whole gill. We'll head back outside. Pinello is already out of MP, which is actually rather alarming. Or she's spending so much on uh, holies she doesn't really need. So go ahead and close those. Fight some stuff here. So let's see if it lets us down. Yes, it does. So Penumbra is first, Umbra is second. Um, after that is Abyssal, and then after that, the final area is Hell's Challenge. Which is an area that we don't need to worry about for now. As you go further down, it will require progressively more black orbs. I think I've already mentioned that, but I'm not sure. By the way, welcome to this place. We should be greeted exactly the same way as we were greeted before, with a swarm of enemies walking towards us from everywhere. Again, don't fight in the center, there's no reason to, you don't get anything out of it. Hello, my dragon lich friend. That's what's going on, we're getting dispelled. I'm actually going to put ten in here, just, just cause. It takes nine. I'm pretty sure. Is it nine? Is this the right one? Yeah, it is, it says nine. An overabundance for naught are they spent. If I put one in, does it just do nothing at this point? Does it get angry at me? Who knows? It mostly lit the area. I'm pretty sure this one is nine. What if I leave and come back if those will be gone? I just mostly wanted to know what happens if you put too many in. Ow. Freaking ash just imploded. Please let me out. Thank you. Because normally I, I make sure to match it properly when I've been down here before. But, uh... Maybe this side isn't mine? Or is it? Let's see if something's messed up here and just go to 15, because I think 15 is supposed to be the other side, but it could be backwards. Makes more sense for this side to be 15. Well, that's 15. Well, that ain't right for sure. We're Umbro, right? Yeah, we're Umbro. There's 16 in there now. It seems a bit of, of, you know, overkill at this point. So we're just going to leave that one alone now. 
I guess if you go over, it just doesn't uh, tell you that you've actually put enough in, I suppose. It also doesn't seem to properly light up the zone that it's in. I wonder if there's any way to possibly reset that. Also, we gotta slow the game down to see where these things are going. You might notice that not every enemy is dropping an orb. They're going that way. Nothing here, there's no treasure, which means that chest didn't spawn. Hello. There should be another room over here, I thought. So I'm just confusing myself. It's possible. I frequently do that. They're not like a fool's facade somewhere around here. There it is. And there's our black orbs. So we're not actually going to pick those up yet, I don't think. We're just going to leave those there. Well, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick them up. I mean, we're here already, so... There should be a large number of dead bones around this area. There should be a large number of multiple things around this area. Let's keep killing stuff for a second. So we can get as many of these black orbs as possible before going to the other corners. There we go. 48 black orbs. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty sure there's supposed to be another room over here. Oh, that's why. That's why I'm confused. I thought I was northwest. We are in fact southwest. Which does not in fact require the amount that I thought. So that's what's going on. I'm just being I'm just being an idiot. All we literally had to do was go two more and it would have filled. Oh well. Welcome to my life, I suppose. So we don't actually know what happens when we go over because we haven't gone over yet. So if this is southwest... Uh, this extra room should be... This way. And this is the room with uh, a chance of giving you Niho Palehohleil, whatever the hell it's called. Brain's level 75. We gotta see where these orbs go. Okay, they went that way, so it's in the southeast corner. But anyway, if the uh, Niho Palehohleil, whatever the hell it's called, spawns, it'll be about right here in this little corner over here, but it hasn't. So it doesn't really matter. And that way doesn't go anywhere. There's also a chance of a rare uh, monster here. In order for that rare monster to spawn in that room, you must have killed Vagrant Soul first. And I don't remember where Vagrant Soul is, so I'm not going to tell you. Because that would be silly. So because we know the... Um, the orbs went to the southeast. We're actually going to go north and then wrap back around so we can pick up the orbs towards the end here. Hello, my Mist Mare based friend. Let me through the door. So this area should be the one that requires 10. How many do we have? We have 84. I'm going to put 10, or sorry, 9. I'm going to put 10 in just to see. Okay. So it literally just consumes the black orbs. That's fine. And you get nothing out of it. Again, I have no idea why putting 1 in is so much slower than just putting 5 in. Uh, in terms of the animation itself. It's rather annoying, but anyway. It's full, areas lit, do nothing, bugger off, explore the area around here and kill some stuff. Because why not? And by kill some stuff, I mean kill nothing, because there's nothing here. Oh, hello, there you are. I see you and your family has arrived. Oh, I see you've come from behind as well. Ah, I was just in this room and there was nothing here. Why must you all spawn now? 
Doesn't really matter. Hello. Please stop dispelling me. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, this is just a crappy treasure chest that has garbage in it, but yeah, there you go. There should be potential treasure chest in this room that might have something good. Has a tiny chance of spawning, so it's unlikely it is indeed not here. I don't know why the treasure down here has such an abysmal, abysmal spawn rate. Abysmal. Um, because it's most of it's not even actually that good. Like, the treasure over there that I was talking about potentially existing is um, a cameo belt. Which is okay, you know, it's good to have. But it has a 5% chance of spawning. 5%. Now, if it does spawn, it does give you the item straight up, but like that's a crazy low spawn rate. I don't know who thought that was a good idea, but anyway, this one requires 15, which is a convenient number because it's really fast to get to. This side's done, which leaves just the southeast, which we will get to momentarily because this area is actually pretty small. Actually, have no idea how long I've been spawning for either, so not spawning, recording for. Should be another room. There it is. Please. I know you're killing skeletons left and right, but I would like to open this. Oh, hello. I don't really want to fight you right now because you're just going to dispel me anyway. Now we can fight you. You disabled me instead. And then you blinded me. Now you're disabling me. Dispelling, sorry. Words are hard, you know? At least just kill it. Thank you. There we go. We should have quite a few uh, black orbs for the next floor as well. Which I could skip probably the entire next floor, but this is really no reason for me to. This is an exploration video after all. Let me see how long I've been recording. Uh, 25 minutes plus whatever it was to begin with. This video is going to be a bit long because it's just going to be a single video for the entire subterra. Minus the uh, absolute bottom floor. Because the absolute bottom floor is um, a hunt. So we'll go there at a separate point in time, but anyway. Uh, this one requires... Seems like 15 as well. I wish they all required 15 because that is the greatest number to get to. It takes like two seconds. As opposed to anything that requires ones to be put in. Uh, so this area is not particularly expansive. I mean, none of the areas down here are particularly expansive, but I suppose it's bigger than the other areas. I've been disabled again. Rude. They keep reflecting themselves. It's rather annoying. That was 50,000 damage from Holy, by the way. She does have the Holy Rod, so... Okay, so this is the facade. This opens up to the rest of this area here. Which is mostly going to be skeletons, as is tradition. I wish they didn't have disable, that's rather annoying. Actually, there's no reason to have a diamond armlet on down here, I don't think. So. Let's make ourselves immune to disable. So we don't need to worry about that constantly, because it's rather annoying. Please stop parrying me, thank you. Ash is just over here taking everything on herself. Pinella's just getting the crap beat out of her. Please stop. Whoa, camera. Thank you. All right, so I'm pretty sure somewhere down here is the black orb, the, the giant black orb. So let's see where this goes real quick. It goes that way. Okay. Ah, there's the black orb right there. There's also a magic pot. I'm alarmed about because of our last encounter with a magic pot. 
And you know there's going to be some other crap in that room that wants to fight us, so... We just walk into the area. Hello. Clamors for an elixir. Very quickly, let's go into the menu. Turn everyone's gambits off real quick. You fool! Alright, well... I had gambits off and she still attacked it, which is rather annoying. So let's pick up our orbs and leave, because otherwise we're going to get the crap beat out of us. Do, 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 do. Thankfully, magic pots don't know how to use doors. Fantastic. Alright. Let's make our way to... where the hell are we? Oh, here we are. Get confused about which side of the map we were on briefly there. Hello, my dead bones based friends. We, however, wish to be at the Abyssal. Everyone's favorite location, the Abyssal. So this floor contains a wither on a small chance. I do mean small, it's like 10%. Also, apparently contains the Vagrant Souls. There you go. Hello, Necrofiend. So where are we? We're on the left. Let's start uh, northwest, shall we? I'm confused. She's confused. Everyone's confused. Please stop. I, s I said let's start this way as well, because this is apparently the side that the Vagrant Soul is on. Uh, which may not even spawn, because I think it might be part of uh, the side quest, but I'm not sure. I'll have to do that side quest at some point. The uh, Hunt Club side quest. I don't know when. I probably after this video, actually, will have to start doing that. Anyway, uh, this one requires nine, unfortunately. Is there a limit to black orbs? Ah, oh, yes, the limit is 99, apparently. So I picked up 108 and then just threw some of them on the ground, I guess. See, why was that one so fast, but then that one was so slow? What is it doing with the animation sometimes? That's weird. I thought this was 9. Are we northwest? Hold on. We are northwest. Hmm. It would appear that this thing is in fact wrong. Because it says fill amount is 9 for northwest. We are to the northwest and have put 9 in. It has not filled. Of course, this is the same number that was supposed to be on the last floor. It has 9 and 15 written down, which is the same as the last floor, which... I'm pretty sure isn't right. In fact, I think the ones on this floor require quite a lot. But I guess we're doing it this way. Got to do it the old fashioned way. All right, man, there's 18 of these things in here. How many of these do you actually want? Because this is getting ridiculous. I mean, it's a pretty big area, so likely it would require way more than it's told me to put in. Oop, there we go. So 21. Weird, that seemed wrong for that to be so low. You can't look behind you and the door is opening. All right. Let's continue our journey. This floor has zombie warlocks, apparently. Which are actually much easier than dead bones. I don't know why they're here, but... This is fine. We'll figure out where there's a... Oh, we got another ribbon. Uh, you know what? Let's just give that to her. We're not going to give it to Pinello yet because Pinello really does still need the sage ring for this sort of content. Uh, boss fights is probably much better for her to have a ribbon because her MP isn't going to wear out that quickly for boss fights. Well, I wish I hadn't done that, but I did, so... Let us figure out where we're going from here. I think we need to go 
through there, yeah. No, not there. The door over there. Here it is. So before we do that, though, we're actually going to leave this area. So that the magic pot hopefully buggers off and stops trying to assassinate my party. This is a great pastime, magic pots world round. Okay. Now then, let's head this way. Hopefully the magic pot has not moved to this side of the area, because that would just make me sad if nothing else. Right, let's figure out where these black, uh, black orbs are going as well. They're going that way. So they're probably northeast, but it's possible they're nearby. Having fun back here, Pinello. You could have killed many things. Ah. Hey, how long it takes after you cast something, too. It's very annoying. Anyway. Should be a fool's facade. Ah, it's right there. It's actually somewhat inconvenient because we're close to cap still, but I guess it doesn't really matter. This is the last floor, and this is the last time we'll ever need uh, black orbs, so it's kind of relevant. So we'll wait just a minute here. Whoa. There we go. We had to wait for that black orb to float over before picking it up, so 45. There's another one right there, apparently. Oh, that one actually tells me where to go. So south, west, probably. So theoretically, this is where Vagrant Soul should be if it spawns, but there's no guarantee that it will spawn. It appears to not have. What about our other item? The item has not spawned either. So this is the room that Wither spawns in. I believe it spawns directly in the center of that room, but I'm not sure exactly. Either way, it definitely has not spawned, so unfortunate. I have no desire to pick up whatever garbage loot these guys are actually dropping, by the way. If you're curious. So northwest is done, next up is northeast. And this thing I have brought up is incorrect with the numbers for the north side, so... V will have to bear that in mind, but again, I want nothing to do with any of these enemies. What time is it? It's two. Someone is putting up the dishes. That is my job. Apparently I've been hit with a reverse at some point. Uh, there will probably be some background noise at some point. I do apologize. Normally I put up the dishes, so... In fact, I may end up having to stop recording briefly, but... Eh, I don't know. You guys will just have to deal with the noise. I apologize. So let's put a lot in here. Let's put 20, see what it does. So 20 is too many. What about 15? 15 is the exact number it requires, apparently. 21 on the northwest, 15 in the northeast. Background noise in the south. You get it? Because that's where I live. I don't even know if you guys can even hear the noise. I mean, you should be able to, because it's loud as hell, but... Uh, should be not a whole lot to this area, and the loot here is just trash loot, I'm pretty sure. But it is free black orbs. So there is that, I guess. And free XP, I suppose. If I need XP, there's a much better way to do it, but... A Fool's Facade. Which contains a room with a magic pot. We're going to run away from said magic pot and fight these dudes out here. There's actually quite a large number of them, apparently. They stop casting magic? Thanks. Okay. There we go. Let's turn off our gambits. See if anything else spawns in here. Nothing else has spawned in here. So what do you want? Probably an elixir. You clamor for an elixir. I only have six of these. What are you doing? Like, do I have to kill it now? Because it appears to just be running around like a madman. So let's turn our gambits back on. 
It's still just running around like a madman. Where'd it go? There it is. What happens if we fight it now? Is it possible to kill it now? It appears to be possible to kill it, however, Ash's weapon is healing it, so... Let's give her the, uh, something. Save the queen, sure. It appears to still be very hard to hit the thing. Man, she does so much less damage with this weapon, good god. Alright, we'll kill it eventually. It's a rather evasive fellow. Look, man. I should probably try and steal from it too, but I don't think I have anyone in this party that can steal. Ah, she can. Try and steal from it for me. A Baltoro Seed. The hell is a Baltoro Seed? Do I like... Is it a key item? Is it just an item? It's an item. Grants question mark to one ally. What? Confused noises? Alright, man. Eventually we're gonna kill this thing, right? It's critical health. We're doing it. Pinello is also healing it because she has a holy rod. Alright, Pinello. Uh, sure, have the Gendarme for a second. Oh, there's so many enemies here now. Of course, Pinello is a, a, you know, basically invulnerable because she has that shield on. Nothing can hit her. She absorbs every element in the game. It's kind of ridiculous, actually, thinking about that item probably actually the most broken item in the entire game. Where did our magic pot friend go? All of this crap has respawned. Where did the magic pot go? Magic pot friend? I don't know where Magic Pot Friend went. Did he vanish because we took too long to freaking kill him? So I don't think he left the zone. Over here? No, there's just zombies over there. Well, the Magic Pot appears to have vanished. Rather alarmingly, in fact. We're just gonna leave this area and uh, act like that never happened and continue on with our journey through this area. But really quick, I need to stop the recording whenever I get through this door. There we go. I need to stop the recording, I'll be right back. All right, I return, apologies about that. Not that it matters to you guys because like literally no time at all for you guys. But anyway, let's bugger these enemies and make our way down here. Now this area contains the item in question that I mentioned before. The uh, Trango, 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 I, I don't actually remember the name of it exactly because I never see it, but it is a thing. So, southeast one requires supposedly 27. That was one. It's not how many I meant to put in there, but hey, now I get to stare at it for a while. I mean, I technically needed to put one in at some point. I needed to do it twice, actually. Because of basic math. There we go. We still have 47, which is enough to finish this, but we have like a pile of like 200 if we actually need them. So, uh, the way we need to go to get where I want to go is not that way. I thought it may have been a fake wall, but it is not. There are a few treasures around here, again, they're pretty much all garbage. One of them is in this room. Hopefully there's not a magic pot. In fact, that treasure didn't even spawn, despite the fact that it is garbage. Be 
other treasure should be in here if it spawns. It didn't. That's two for or zero for two. Uh, the oh, that's a magic pot. What have I done? Balls. Please let me pick that up. Please let me pick that up. Thank you. So there shouldn't be. Are we down here? Should be this way. There we go. I really actually don't want to fight this magic pot along with everything else, especially since Pinello appears to have lost all of her MP at some point in this exchange, so... We're going to quickly leave the area and come back in. The magic pot should be buggered off. I wonder if you can steal from the magic pot uh, before you give it an elixir so you can get whatever that mystery item is without the uh, requirement of, of feeding it an elixir, because elixirs are expensive. I mean... More so hard to find than expensive, but it's back up because that magic pot does not appear to be aggressive with us anymore. So let's deal with this crap real quick. Appears to be a rather large amount of it for some reason. Good God, stop spawning for a second. Please. Melo still has no MP. This is an awful use of elixirs to feed to uh, magic pots, but this is how this is going to work. Now the game, it's back off. So it is rejoicing. Let us re-gambit ourselves. So what can I do with Ash to assist with the murdering of this creature? I could just change her attack to Flare or something instead. Wherever Flare is, I don't actually remember. There it is. Because her holy weapon's gonna heal it, and I don't really feel like recasting or uh, re equipping her crap constantly, so. That has quite a bit of damage to it, actually. Oh, you know what, actually? Uh, Fran, quickly, preferably, steal from it again. You couldn't steal? Wow. Garbage. Couldn't steal. Look, man, I just want to steal from the magic pot, all right? Is that so hard? We got an elixir back from it. Haha! -ha! We got an aether when we killed it. I guess that's okay. So we'll go back down here, fix this back to attack so she actually does stuff properly. There we go. Anyway, our original task down here was to go through this door kill things, because going through this door gives us access to this room, which gives us access to another room, which gives us happy fun times. Please kill the dragon. Thank you. Where are these going, actually? Going that way. They're probably southwest and not right next to us, because this is a different room. So there is a magic pot in this room. Rather unfortunately. Uh, before anything occurs, I'm going to throw an elixir at it so it doesn't murder us. And then we're going to tell Fran to just one time try and steal from the magic pot. Couldn't steal from it. I don't actually care enough to try again. So actually, no, we stole, uh, we stole our elixir back last time. It seems like a... Oh, right, I need to fix Ash or this will never actually finish. Uh, I could just manually cast Flare on it. It's probably better to just manually cast Flare on the thing. It would help if Fran could actually steal consistently, but she doesn't have the Thieves Glove, so there's really not much she can do about it. Ah, we stole another seed. This thing is so fast. <laughs> I mean, we are quad speed, so... It's almost dead. We'll queue up another one just in case. There we go. We got another ether out of it. So we're getting ethers out of this exchange. And however much LP or XP we're getting. So this is the room that would spawn the special item. 
Uh, it appears not to have. I don't think the chest is invisible. However, it could be. It does not seem to be here either way, so. We'll just move on and act like that doesn't exist until a later video wherein I force spawn it just to show it to you and stuff like that. But for now, let us confuse ourselves briefly, but also continue out back to the central area to the southwest. Which will be the final time we have to use black orbs. I wish that didn't spawn right there. I mean, the devs knew what they were doing, making your uh, exit spawn right in front of that trap. They had a plan. So this one should need... This is 12. Let us see if that number is indeed correct. It seems likely that they just messed up that one on the north side on accident. Yep, it was just that one on the north side. Oh. So that is all four, and nothing down in this corner of the map is actually worth anything at all. In fact, I think you're I think you're only ever going to get knots of rust unless you have a diamond armlet equipped. Knots of rust or a tiny amount of gill. Unless you have the um, diamond armlet equipped, and then there's a tiny chance you will get Beltoro's seeds, but you know, who cares? There's also a chest somewhere. Oh, it was apparently in that southern room that I ran around in. Daesh returns to its original floor to power of some mysterious force. So there you go. The final area of uh, this subterra of Pharos is only accessible if you have defeated all other bosses in this area. Um, which includes Phoenix. And I think you have to have the hunt active, so there is no way for us to go down there. But there is literally nothing down there but the hunt, so... Really not a big deal. Uh, the hunt itself, you will see when we get there, it's uh, an interesting hunt. The only hunt of its kind, actually, wherein you don't fight the hunt. Rather curiously enough. But regardless, that's the exploration for Pharos Subterra. It's a bit of a long video. Um, there will be a separate video for the Zodiac version special item that is down there, the uh, Trigo Trigo Trango shield, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, but there will be a separate video for that. It's a great item, as is tradition with all new items introduced in the Zodiac version of the game. They are extraordinarily overpowered. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.